Hello, we're going to be going over the m site GS30 PRP kit today. Items you will need to process this kit is your Executive Series Centrifuge, Counterbalance, Bucket Inserts, and Scale. Let's get to it. Including your blood draw accessory. Stopcock for final measurements, sodium citrate anticoagulant, one sterile blue drape, and a series of syringes, that's 30 ml, another 30 ml, your final 12 ml syringe. Sterile kept counterbalance, alcohol swabs, and identification sticker. First thing we'll use is our blood draw accessory. In here you will have your tourniquet, more alcohol swabs, band-aid, some gauze, sterile caps, filter needle, and a 19 gauge butterfly needle. To get ready, first we're going to draw back 5 cc's of anticoagulant. Use the filter needle for that. So we'll get that ready there. Pop open our cap of sodium citrate anticoagulant. aseptic technique now push 5 cc's of air into my vial just so it's much easier to get the anticoagulant out through the filter needle I'm going to get 5 cc's Okay, nice wrench. We're then ready to use our butterfly needle. It is just a lure lock connection. Tighten that up. I do prime the tube just so the anticoagulant is all the way through the tube and peeks out just the tip. And then you have your alcohol and tourniquet to get your blood. Today we'll just be using some bovine. After you get your 30 mLs of blood, we will then transfer it into our concentrating device. I removed it from the sterile packing, remove and discard the red cap, and we will load all of our anticoagulated whole blood into the device. Raise septic technique, press down, and turn. As I fill the container, the tube will rise. One of the things I like to do about halfway is just to remove all of the air from within the system. So I pull it back till I'm pulling up all blood. So all of my air is now trapped in the top of my syringe. So I continue filling the canister. And I push down, it's kind of all in, and then just take a little pressure back off. So now when I take this out, this is discarded. We would now weigh.
our whole blood. 59.4 grams. I will hit Tare to zero it out. I will do my counterbalance. Equal parts water. 30 mLs as well. 0, 0.0 grams. Right on the money. Okay, so we pulled all of our blood. We have weighed and counterbalanced the blood. And then we will place our inserts inside of our metal buckets like this. Make sure the buckets are sitting on opposite sides and that they're sitting freely so they can spin horizontally. Place both parts in and this will be a five minute spin at 4400 RPM as it says here press start when the machine gets up to speed the counter will start and I'll start counting down and show how much time is left in 30 second increments and then I'll count down the final minute. So I do want to point out during the spin you'll notice that the minutes is on the left, your speed is on the right and in the middle there's a small little step icon that has the arrow up top pointing down. That's telling us that as the machine gets up to speed, the timer won't start until it's at the desired speed. So in this case, the timer did not start counting down until we reached our program speed of 4400 RPMs. Okay, we're done with our five minute spin. And as we take out our sample, we have great separation. And we have our cellular Buffy coat right on the red blood cell interface, which we will now obtain. So, once the separation has occurred, we're going to ask spread out all of our excess plasma. And a septic technique. Here's our next 30 ml syringe. Place onto the device. And we are going to aspirate out all of the excess plasma. As we're aspirating, the disc is getting lowered. And what we know is the tube is 1 ml, the cone is about 1.5 ml. So when we bring the bottom of the disc even with the red blood cell interface, we know we have trapped the perfect amount of plasma to now pull up our PRP sample all of our extra plasma and collected in the syringe. We we'll then remove this syringe, place our final syringe on top, Once 
Once we've lowered the disc to the red blood cell interface and we've placed our final syringe on the top, we will then aspirate out the last bit of plasma and the two cc's of blood for our four cc PRP. And once that's done, as you can see, it's been pulled up and the layering has stayed in effect where we've trapped that PRP buffy coat right in between the layers right into your sample. Once you have your final volume you can remove it from the concentrating device and you'll have your 4cc PRP Gently mix your Buffy coat in, and you'll have your PRP product good for up to eight hours at room temperature or for immediate injection. The stock talk feature is added to the kit if you want to add more of your platelet pore plasma to your. PRP sample. You can add another CC or two back to your PRP if you needed any more volume to your final PRP solution.